Hey everybody, um, I know a couple people have been asking about our sticker storage. Um, so mom said that we'd go ahead and make a video, so we're going to try and do that today. What we're going to be making are these, what I find to be adorable and super efficient um, sticker books, uh, sticker storage books, and hopefully we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that in uh, the best way possible. We'll see if it works out. Show you what supplies you're going to need. Um, hopefully, in post production, I'll go through and actually like list those out for you, so it's a little bit easier. Um, some things are going to be kind of mandatory. Some things a little bit optional. First thing, optional, but highly recommend some type of scoring board or some type of scoring mechanism. Um, we're going to be using the Martha Stewart one. We've had it for years. It's sucky. It's old. It gets used. You're going to need some type of um, lamination pouch. You can use Scotch. We happen to use a Boschnik brand that we buy at Sam's Club. HP has them. Any type of lamination pouch that you either have laying around or you can get pretty easily. And then you're going to need this. This is the big thing. This is going to be an acetate sheet. You're going to want to make sure that it's something that will accept heat. Most acetate on the market will. Not all will go through a laser printer. That's not entirely important. Um, but you're gonna made, make an acetate sheet. These happen to be overhead projection sheets that you can get at like an Office Depot, any place that sells like school supply type stuff for teachers, but you're gonna need that. You are going to need for this particular one, some type of punch that is gonna be disc bound. This happens to be the Happy Planner one. It is a pain. I would recommend when we get to this part that you have two people doing this. It can be a pain in the tuchus. I was thinking about it while I was editing this video and another option we have that you could use is this We Are Memory Keeper um, disc bound punch. The only problem is, is that these punch one by one. Um, so you'd have to kind of measure it up and then line each sheet. So it's not quite, a, I unlocked it. It's not quite as fast, but it doesn't require two people. So if you are by yourself and you happen to have this or you want to get your hands on this and you don't already have a punch, this is a possibility too. You're also going to need some type of disc. If you're like us, you've collected a bunch. You can get official Happy Planner ones. If you've got a big collection, we recommend the expander discs, the big ones. You can also get tiny metal ones or plastic ones all over the internet, Amazon. Sometimes the Dollar Tree, those are harder to find, but any type of disc. We bought these little guys on Amazon. If you've got a small collection, we bought these on Amazon. These you can buy at your local craft store. All right. You're gonna take your lamination pouch and you're gonna score it kind of in half. It's not necessary, but it kind of helps you line things up um, for the sake of the video and also we do when we're actually making them, we kind of draw a like Sharpie mark down the middle so that we can see it. Make sure you know what your lamination pouch is. Ours are kind of like nine by 11 and a half. Um, so our half mark is gonna be 5.75. And you're just gonna take your little score tool to make a little line. The reason for doing this will make much more sense later. All right, so then you have something that kind of looks like this. All right. Then you're gonna take your, where am I put it? Your overhead projection sheet, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna score this one in half. Um, these are eight and a half by 11, so our score mark is gonna be a five and a half. You don't have to necessarily score them, but I feel like it makes folding this acetate so much easier. And then it should kind of fold back over on itself. And you take your little tool, kind of rub it down real nice, make sure it's real flat. And then you're gonna need two of these for each, and I completely goofed this one up. Um, we're gonna need two of these for each, and based on video editing, we will show you the next step. 
the YouTube magic. Um, I did get a pro tip from mom while I was filming this and she said if you have something that's softer, most uh, acetate and transparency come with like a, a vellum type sheet um, in between each one. So if you have some of that, she says lay it down the edge so you don't really see the creases. It can kind of help it smooth out when it's laminating. Again, not a necessity, but it may help your book look a little bit better. So essentially then what we're gonna do is take our lamination pouch. And I found that it laminates better when you take edge to edge. So you're gonna kinda slide this one in. Ooh, move magic, I got an assistant. Um, you're gonna slide this in as close to the seam as you can get it. Okay, so you're gonna slide the seam of your acetate folded sheet into the seam of your um, lamination pouch. Okay. And then you're going to very carefully, we recommend leaving a little bit more room on the top of your pouch than the bottom. So basically one side should have enough that actually seals. And then the other one should have a little bit of a larger gap so that you can go ahead and trim that off. And then this is where the blue line comes in handy. So you're going to want to make sure you take the second pouch and you're going to line it up as evenly as you can, making sure that you leave enough on this side that opens, okay, to seal, but making sure that it's far enough away from the first pouch that you can cut them kind of in half. you can see kind of what we're working with. So your blue line kind of acts as your center and that's essentially where we're gonna end up cutting. And you're gonna have a seam towards the left and a seam towards the right. I know it's a video and it's probably flipped. It doesn't matter either way. A seam to one direction and a seam to the other direction. Your open flap should meet in the middle. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna actually form those pockets. And this is where the blue line's gonna come in handy. We're just gonna use our handy dandy trusty, which direction? Fiskar paper trimmer. You can use um, like a guillotine style, um, a rotary style. You can use all of those. I find that the ones that have some type of guideline make it a little bit easier because we're all humans and not perfect. So sometimes one might be a little to the left, to the right. Um, and it's not exactly center, so you might not know where to actually cut. So first we're gonna find our side that is longer. So for us, it's gonna be this top part here. So you can see it's got a little bit more space than this side. And we're gonna open the pocket. And so you're kind of gonna just line up at the very edge to break the seam. I've actually got a little cheat mark. <laughs> see, the, see these Sharpies? Mom lined that so that I can make sure I know how to do it. So, and then if I remember correctly, they say when using plastic, you kind of cut from the center down and then back up. Now let's see if I cut it in the right spot. And then it... <laughs> Gotta go in a little bit more. Okay, let's go in. This really depends on, again, if you got all of your lining up correctly. I think I did it this time. So then you wow. have two pouches. Look at that. That's amazing. 
And then you're gonna kind of guide down the center to separate them. And we're gonna see, mom normally does this. Um, so I normally have her, do and I did it. So now you have two separate pouches that are gonna become your pockets for your stickers. Mom said that tip, if you don't like the little blue edges, you can take a little bit of rubbing alcohol that most crafters have in their stash um, and just wipe it off. You can use like hand sanitizer, like an alcohol wipe, something and wipe it off. Um, she would have done this video, but she doesn't like talking on camera. She likes to be behind a camera. Um, and then next thing we're gonna need is this. And she's gonna have to help me because I don't know how to line this up. I'm gonna be honest. There's a lot of stuff I know how to do. Work this thing is not one of them. So I guess this is where I'm gonna come in. Yes. <laughs> the blue mark that uh, that you're making, I usually use that blue end inside the Happy Planner punch or, uh, or the particular disc punch that you have, um, just because it's easier to know that that's the side you're gonna put in. I do have some cheat marks on the Happy Planner. <laughs> There's cheat marks all over this stuff. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tip, the open part of your lamination sheet or your transparency sheet, your pouch, um, and you're gonna put that right into the edge, just kind of lining up, you can even eye it, just line up your discs, um, your disc punch to the plastic. And I just happen to have a cheat sheet there. So then you're gonna just do is you're gonna squeeze it. And you're gonna get some, some weight on it. Oops, or not. There we go. So you're probably gonna have to stand up and do it, <laughs> get some weight on it, um, because it doesn't like to, it does it. And then you get your little, and yeah, then you have your little disc holes in it. And we're gonna come back with some movie magic.